my name is Shane. Welcome to Shane's Big Thought. I will be your host for this review. Well, one of the many reviews that I've made. As you can see, the star of this review is Hover from Mocky Toys. I mean, I'm just really excited to have this review because I've done a lot of this stuff with Transformers. And now I'm doing this. So I just feel honored. So, as you can see, he's a uh, hovercraft. He has some pretty well good detailing. I love how they made it so that it kind of looks real. But I can't make any promises because you can see on the top that they're ball joints. Back, he has some pretty nice spinning propellers. But don't spin for very long. The problem with mine is that the push it in a certain way. If you push it too far or close, it'll just I tend to flip over like that. It was lucky because it usually does this on the front. And as you can see, some very nice detailing on the front. It kind of looks like a cone. And. Pretty well, this is a really good vehicle mode, except for some issues. Uh, I would say not that when it's for a uh, cable. The top is what it was for a uh, cable. Bum bum bum. Uh, that's pretty much it. Color. Some very nice orange on the top. I like how the blue and the black and the white fit in with the yellow on the back and then for the front there's black windows and well that's pretty much it transformation so first well there's a lot of ways but my way is first unpeg this whole symbol unpeg this remote will become the robot body and then straighten them out, and then fold up the feet, and then scan the figure up if you can, and then split apart the arms, bring them down like so. And one of the issues is there's a tendency to pop off all of these. And when I transform them, I can't get out of the arms falling off. That's why I don't transform them that much. Maybe they can be fixed. Maybe not. Then pull this whole thing back. Back. Turn the head around. And there he is. So not that much of transformation that I like. Sarah would be sitting there confused. Once you get him into robot mode, he's a pretty well good figure. Um, detailing though. That's when it kind of starts to change. Well, not really. It's just it's basically the top of the hovercraft. The only real good part about this that I really like is the face. I mean, the face has the face play and the eyes. I mean, when I first got this toy, I was I didn't even know he would come with a weapon or not. And, well, I was right, he didn't. Which I wasn't really that happy about at first. And then I noticed, how can he hold a gun with these little itty bitty hands? No figure articulation which would be hard for people to do. Because how small they are. It's just kind of cute. I mean, you can shake them with your pinky. <laughs> okay, enough about that. I just can't, it's so unresisting. But okay, I'll forget it for it. Articulation. Arms can go maybe about 360, I'm not sure. Well, that far do the rotors. And arm can go about to that far. Legs up to there. And to there. Toes level because of the transformation. It can go 360 because of the transformation. 
That's it. Poses is where it kind of gets to get hard. It's hard to stand this figure up. But once we find out a way, pretty well good. Uh, I had an idea that's just recent. This is a very older Maki Toys, and this is a pretty newer one. See how far apart they've come? This one's hard, but still did not come with a weapon. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, people, that I'm reviewing a toy without a weapon. But, way to go, Maki. Woo! It is one of my favorite tea. Transformer brands. Don't tell Hasbro. Bye. Thanks for watching this review of Shane Big of Shane's Big Thoughts. I am really excited for the next review because it's gonna be him. Woo! Bye bye. Wee! Sorry, I already remember. Next one will be someone else besides this guy. Bye bye. Ciao. Okay, are you gonna stop this review now? Oh yeah, I stopped recording. So you mean I can stop this? Sure, anytime. I can't just stop recording it. No, it's not recording. Oh, I'm gonna go. Yeah, you.